Hello there, this is Cynthia Maynard, and today I have a fun little file folder card that I have done some different techniques to. It's using some, it's a kind of a montage of products as well. I stenciled it with some Lawn Fawn Yeti ink and um, made a little file folder. I have a Spellbinders medallion here that I've spray painted and the Stampin' Up! Um, bracket um, punch that I uh, spritzed with some gold. And then I've got another Spellbinders label die and a Lawn Fawn stamp that says congrats and some Simon Says Stamp um, leftover scrap that I had from my kit. And so it's just a way to, a fun way to kind of use up bits and bobs that you have lying around that they don't go to waste. And so I'm going to show you how to make this today. Um, this is just using an A2 size card. Um, I had one that was pre-folded in a pack that I had gotten from Tuesday morning. So it's got the score line just like you would any other time. And then you just want to take off on the upper part about a half an inch. So you just lay it out like this, take a half inch off, and so when you fold it, it's offset. And using the envelope punch board, um, you could use really the one, two, three punch board as well. Um, you want to turn your card this way with the shorter side and open it. So that way we have the short chopped half inch off side that we're going to use to create our card. So I'm going to take this and put it to the three inch mark um, here. So I'm going to line that up and I'm going to go ahead and punch. And then I am going to move that over to the center line. Now this one doesn't have it. The bow, the bow board does. Um, but if you can just picture in your mind um, the, the center, I think you'll be okay. And you can go ahead and punch that. And so you can kind of see that already taking shape. You can make that as wide as you want to make it. It doesn't really matter. And now we're just going to trim off the excess. To do that, I'm going to flip it like this since I'm right-handed. And, um, and just cut up to that point. Okay? So now we've created our file. Look. There. It's a little bit hard to see right now because of the um, fact that it's all one color. Um, the next step would be to go ahead and stencil it if you want. That's what you want to do. And I am going to use today from my Faber-Castell mixed media stencils, these paper ones, I'm going to use the stripe. But I'm going to turn it on an angle so that I have a diagonal stripe, just because we can. Um, I'm also going to mask off this bottom portion so that my card, um, so that the stripe doesn't go onto the back portion. So just take any scrap piece of paper, carefully line it up with the fold of your card, and then go ahead and put your mask or stencil on it. And if you get a lot of mileage out of this, it's Lawn Fawn um, Pigment Ink in Yeti, which is a nice opaque white. And I have a sponge dauber somewhere. A makeup sponge here, a little cheapy makeup sponge. And holding down or taping down your stencil, go ahead and... Get that on there. Doesn't have to be perfectly a little distressed look. It's fine. If I swipe like this, it might uh, lift my stencil a little bit. So I'm kind of. You could also spray this. Um, if you do that, I would recommend taping it down. Trying to provide some more texture. Um, Cover my little thing there. Make it go a little bit longer. So now you have a striped background to work with. So the strip here I have cut out um, from, let's see, from Stampin' Up, uh, oh, not Stampin' Up, uh, Simon Says Stamp, all these S's. Um, June's 2016 pack and I just cut a little strip oh, about three quarters of an inch wide and that is going to go um, across here like so. I thought it was nice and colorful. And then on top of that I have a medallion cut out stability called Savory 
or Savoy decorative accents and this is a great great set um, and so this is that middle shape that is here and I just cut it out of some craft cardstock I was gonna paint it but I thought well I kind of liked how it looked uh, just like that so I think I'm going to leave that I also have um, from the party pack um, from Stampin' Up, this little white with the check, and I thought it went well with the sort of print background behind these hearts. And with that, I'm going to use the Bracket Label Punch, which is retired, um, or you could use something similar. But I found that this fits perfectly in this Spellbinders uh, medallion. So I'm going to go ahead and punch that out. I'm trying to get a corner there so I can save my paper real estate. And as you can see there, it just fits very, very nicely in there. Now on this card, I did it in just black cardstock and sprayed it in gold. And then it fits right on there. Um, but for this one, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Fast Fuse. Center that the best you can there. Small binder set of labels. It comes with six. It's labels 28 and I'm using the tiniest one. So um, they're all the same shape and they nest. And I'm going to, I think I actually already cut that out, pink paper from Recollections from Michaels. And I'm going to stamp this time um, from my set that I got um, from Stamps of Life, uh, June stamp set of Subscription Club and it's got this flower piece and I'm using the sweet. Um, and I thought that went well with our sort of hearts and they're kind of like remind me of candies like those little um, Valentine candies almost. And so I'm just going to do that in let me turn this the other way so it's easier to hold in some Ranger Archival ink black ink I really have a mix of <laughs> companies here today, which is fine. Use what you have. That's what we should do, right? All right, that's a pretty font. Just like so. Nice and scripty there. Um, all right, so now it's a matter of assemblage. I am going to do one more thing before, and I'm going to sort of just so... In this particular card, I'm not doing a lot to the background, like I have done before in other file folder cards. So to make that, that pop from the background, I'm going to run around the edge of it, like I did with this one, and just ink that edge. And I'm going to use some Distress Ink Vintage Photo for that, because I think it goes well with the Craft Card Stock Medallion. And then you just kind of go along... that way you can see it pops out a little bit better there. Um, okay, so now it's just assemblage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my strip on. So I'm going to use just Fast Fuse, quarter of the way up, and we're just going to put that strip on there. Now it's a little bit longer. I didn't, when I was cutting it, I wasn't paying attention to that. I just cut it off a six by six paper. So um, I am going to trim that. But if you already cut yours to the correct length, then you can skip that step, obviously. What we've got so far. And then we've got our medallion and bracket that's going to go on here. You could pop that up. I just used um, Fast Fuse on that as well. Okay. And then we're just kind of putting it there. All right. And then our sweet, I did pop up on little foam adhesive. So I just put two. Let me move my stuff out of the way. little eyes. Okay, and then we've got our suite, and then we're just kind of putting it 
kind of like that. Except I want it to be lined up with my band or that will bother me. Okay. Sometimes when you're looking away from with trying not to get my head in the camera, things get askew a little bit. So there you have it. It's a cute little file folder, a card. Um, you know, you could certainly do anything to it. This is just, just and my idea. And the inside you can do some stamping or whatever you want to do there. And um and gussy up with the, you know, you could put the um, heart paper on the inside or whatever, uh, any of these coordinating things, but I just thought it was a cute little way to do a file folder card. Um, you know, I did actually round the corners, now that I'm remembering that. You don't have to. Um, I rounded them. I thought that looked a little bit dicer. And now that I was looking at that, now I see why. Alright, so again, you can use the reverse punch on the back of your board to do that, or a how, whatever rounder you have. Yeah, I like that better. Um, Alright guys, uh, fun little file folder card. It's great for teachers, um, businessmen, graduates, um, whatever, whomever. But um, uh, I just thought it was a cute little look. But um, and a way to use lots of different products, a way to use some of your scraps and things and your stencils. It's always fun. Alright guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have a great day.